If you wanna create a portal to share project information with your clients, I got a solution for you. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my client portal template, which is free and made inside of Glide. Glide is a no-code platform where anyone can build custom apps and websites without code. A client portal is great if you wanna give your clients a unique and refined experience. It gives them limited visibility into the status of their project and gives them a secure portal where you can share all of the documents, whether it's invoices, contracts, or deliverables. All of that can be shared within one place for your client. This is a better experience for you and them because it keeps everything out of email. Let's go ahead and jump into a demo of this client portal template and I'll show you how you can get started. To get access to this client portal template, all you have to do is follow the link down in the description. That'll bring you to a page that looks like this. And let's go ahead and preview this template. This opens up the template inside of Glide so that you can have a look at it before you copy it. The first thing to note is that there are three different roles for your different types of users within this client portal. We have a manager who is like an administrator, has access to everyone and all projects and all tasks. We have consultants, which are a part of your team, and these would be in charge of certain projects, but don't need access to everybody's information. And then you have your clients who only have access to their specific projects. So let's go ahead and view this template as a client, as Polly. We can see whenever Polly logs in, she has access to her projects and all of the documents associated to her project that have been uploaded to the client portal. If we click into a specific project, we can see the tasks that are associated and open for that project. We can see the members of the project. This would be Polly, the client, the consultant that is taking care of the project and the manager who is overseeing the project. And then below that, we can see the documents associated to the project. If we flip over to the consultant view, then we can see that the consultant has basically the same view, but the consultant can edit the project. Also, when we go back to the dashboard, we can see that Alan has access to more projects. And if we go up one level more, we look at Marie, who is the manager. We can see that Marie has access to all the projects within the entire client portal. You may have also noticed at the top that Marie also has access to a profiles tab. Marie has control over everyone who is in the client portal. She can view their profiles, edit the data, and even add new clients or consultants. If you want to add a new project, you just come to my projects and click add. You give the project a name, an image, a status, and then you specify the members that are gonna be a part of the team. The client this is for, the consultant owning the project, and the manager overseeing the project. If we click into the project, you can also add tasks. Give it a name, a description, and a status. You can view the member details to reference contact information, and you can add contracts, invoices, deliverables, all securely here in the documents section. If you wanna get a free copy of this template and make it your own, all you have to do is go to the link in the description and click on copy template. This will copy this exact template to your account, and then you can start adding in your own information and making this client portal your own. When it comes to adding in your own information, this is done in the data editor section of Glide. I'll quickly walk you through the different tables so you can know where things are at. This first table has users. So this is all the people that are gonna be logging into the application. Remember, you have different roles, manager, consultant, and client. And here we have all the normal things, name, photo, email, phone number. We also have company name and website. Below that in the hierarchy, we have projects. Projects contain tasks and documents. A project has a name, an image, and a status. And then people are also assigned to projects. The tasks in this template are pretty straightforward and you can extend them to make them more specific to your needs. From there, we have documents. These have names, the upload URL, the upload date, and the important thing is the project ID. This is the ID that comes from the auto-generated ID in the projects table. This makes sure that this document is only visible to certain projects. 
The final table in here is options, and these just populate a few of the choice components and dropdowns inside of the Glide page. I hope you find this client portal template useful and it really gets you up and running quickly. If you have any issues getting this set up, you can reach out to me from that link in the description as well. You'll see here I'm noted as the maker of this template and you can just click on this hire me button to be brought to my expert profile page. I can help you get this template set up, extend it, or create a completely customized Glide project specific to your needs. Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, the link to where you can get a free copy of this client portal template is down in the description. If you liked this video or you didn't, you might be interested in some of the other templates that I have created inside of Glide. I have a full playlist right here of all the templates that I've created for Glide. And some of those tutorials go into more depth on how to create apps inside of Glide from start to finish. If you wanna dive a little bit deeper into your no-code education, definitely check out that playlist right there. Thanks so much for watching this video. Good luck on your next project and happy coding.